Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD 2017 tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at using ortho mode and polar tracking. So uh, we're going to start off in the usual way with a new drawing, ACAD ISO named plot styles uh, and we're going to zoom all. So we've got uh, our workspace here that we're going to be working in. So if you want to start a drawing or produce a drawing uh, where there's lots and lots of right angles uh, or if you want to set up your uh, orthographic projection uh, drawings uh, you can use ortho mode which is really really useful it's this one down here uh, and the shortcut key is F8 so you can turn it on and off with F8 if you like uh, that gets a little bit quicker so if I want to produce a drawing uh, with a polyline uh, for starters uh, if I want to get this to a right angle, uh, again I've either got to type in coordinates, I've got to give it that information, uh, or I could use a couple of other options. But the option that we're going to use today is we're going to look at using uh, the uh, ortho mode. So uh, if we select ortho mode, then what happens is now the uh, cursor is now restricted to 90 degrees. doesn't matter where I move uh, my mouse, the line will always snap to the closest uh, position uh, at 90 degrees from my start point. So if I want to produce a drawing uh, that has quite a lot of right angles in it, this can be extremely useful. Uh, so you can still uh, type in measurements uh, and uh, items like that. So let's say I want this line to be uh, 40 mil long. Then as I'm dragging this down in this direction, if I type in 40 and hit space, then it sets it to 40. If I now want this to be 20 mil in this direction, I just move my cursor in, cursor in the direction that I want it to go, type in 20, hit space, and it makes it 20 millimeters long, and so on and so forth. I can snap uh, to that. Again, more on snaps uh, in the next video. Uh, but again, this is, this is really quite useful uh, if you want to produce a drawing that involves an awful lot of right angles. So there we go. So let's say I want to put that there. Uh, and across like this and then if I want to close that I can still force it into making uh, a line that isn't a right angle like that. So that's ortho mode, that can be uh, quite useful, uh, a very very useful tool that a lot of times you'll find yourself using that a lot to line stuff up accurately. So that's ortho mode, that's nice and simple. Uh, what we'll look at now is we'll turn ortho mode off so that my uh, lines aren't restricted anymore. Uh, and we're going to look at this object here now, which is polar tracking. Uh, now with polar tracking, again, if I uh, create an object using a polyline, start it in a r uh, random arbitrary place. Uh, if I click the down arrow next to polar tracking, shortcut key is F10. I've got a number of options here that I can uh, automatically use. Uh, so we've got, to, these are all different angles, uh, and remember how angles work in AutoCAD. Uh, this line here, as you can see on the pop-up box next to the mouse, uh, next to the, the pointer there, uh, that's zero degrees, and then coming round, so here that's 45, 90, 135, 180, uh, and so on and so forth, 225, uh, 315, and back round to zero again. So angles in AutoCAD are measured anti-clockwise uh, from the X uh, axis, so round in that direction. Remember, it is possible if you don't want to type in 200 uh, and uh, 25 or 315 or something like that, you can use minus angles so that would be minus 45 degrees to push it back that way but with the uh, polar snap in place uh, we can uh, it creates basically a tracking line this green dotted line that you can see here when you uh, come close to that angle so I could still create a line that is not uh, at that angle if I want to uh, but it just gives you this tracking line which uh, if you're close to it it'll snap to it so it gives you uh, that angle quite easily so again, if I want to produce uh, a drawing uh, where there's lots of 45 degree angles, so something like, like this, um, then you can see uh, that we're, we're hitting that 45 uh, degrees there nice and regularly, like so. 
So that's one way, uh, one option that we've got. We've also got the option here uh, to have our uh, cursor be tracked at 30, 60 and 90 degrees, uh, going up in 22 and a half degrees, uh, 18, 15, 10 and 5 uh, and so on and so forth. So these, uh, again, these all have their uses in different ways. So that's useful if you're dealing with uh, pentagonal shapes. Uh, this is useful for uh, octagonal shapes and, and different things like that. So again, uh, common ones that are used 30, 60, 90, uh, 15, 30, 45. And again, all of the angles in this one, uh, sorry, all of the angles in this one can be found in this one, uh, but some of the angles in here won't be found in there. So it's just a matter of looking at how many angles uh, you've got within a drawing and if they are uh, typical angles like we've got here, which very often they will be, uh, then you can use uh, the polar tracking, which is really useful. So uh, let's change this now to 30, 60, 90, and again show you uh, what we've got. So uh, there's 120, then we might want to go across horizontal again, come back down uh, at the same angle, uh, like so, and just carry on around uh, in that fashion. So that's uh, that's quite useful. Uh, and again, we can have a, a shallower angle on this one because we've got uh, the different options available to us. So something like this, and then we can close that off like that. So that is how we use uh, polar tracking. Again, this is going to be very useful uh, in conjunction with your worksheets uh, and future exercises. So I hope this video made sense. I hope it was helpful. As always, if you have any feedback or comments, then please let me know, uh, and I'll be grateful to, uh, to utilize those. Thank you very much. Goodbye.